Turning now to weather, 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters. Meteorologist Natalie Faria has the latest update that just came down minutes ago. Natalie, we are tracking Lee and another area. Yeah, another area of disturbed weather that's kind of getting its act together just off the west coast of Africa. The latest update in from the National Hurricane Center is, you know, not a whole lot of development's going to happen in the next 48 hours, but over the next seven days, primarily by the weekend, this area right here in red could be very conducive for our next tropical depression. So that's something we're going to be watching as we get closer and closer to the weekend. As far as what's developed out there, we have Hurricane Lee and Hurricane Margot. That's officially became a hurricane earlier today. Let's talk about Lee first. There has been no change in its intensity. It's still a category three hurricane, major hurricane moving to the west northwest tonight. The turn to the north is forecasted to happen tomorrow night as late as Wednesday morning, but it will turn still remaining pretty strong as it scoots just west of Bermuda. Then as far as landfall, it likely will turn post tropical by then, but we're still talking about a heavy rainfall and very gusty winds by the weekend as far west as Maine, as far east as Halifax. So that's where we'll be watching for those impacts. However, leading ahead of it, right along the east coast, we're talking high surf, rough seas, as well as high rip current risks for the second half of this week. So we'll be watching the east coast closely when it comes to those beaches. Then Margo, thankfully, will be staying well over the Atlantic fish storm. No worries there. We continue to work our way through this list. 